It's intense, but all right. You know what else is intense? The way Nichols open up this if, game. If you want to hear an intense stream, just listen to Aikido. Aikido, Aikido's uh, one is like, super intense. I love it. That stand stays up for so long. Yeah. Yo. Okay, he knows all the block strings. This oh, man, yeah. he knows everything. He, he was fighting my Merkava earlier. That's oh. why. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Jackie Tech. You gave this man experience. We could have had a good game. Okay, no, we, no, we got a good game. All right. I can't say we could have because now we're getting some good shit off. Merkava's lows are so good, though. Yeah. Snakes. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, those things are going ham! Yeah, they, that's what they do, man. That's exactly what they do. That's why you don't want them on the field, because they will go ham on you all day. Shout out to Sam on the original fighting against Snake. We love you, dude. What? No, we don't. Bro's ace, man. <laughs> I don't know too much about FGC beef. I'm in Smash with the beef, I'm in this with the hype. I gotta start playing more Smash after this to get ready for the monthly. Uh, yeah. I've, I've spent all week playing this. <laughs> it shows, man. You got a little bit better, but you still need more than you do. Yeah, definitely. Like, honestly, to tell you the truth, that's one thing I need to work on, too. Yeah. Especially in certain matches. Oh, that's Stan! Like, Byakuya, I have good neutral usually with most characters. But when it, came, when it came to Byakuya, I didn't know what to really struggle oh, okay. with because, like, you gotta work so hard to get in. And then once you're in, then you can start saying questions. And it's like, okay. We're gonna see some snakes? There we go! Let's see some snakes! Two, three, four. I love that grab so much. You just... Wales of that's damage, man. <laughs> Alright, so we got Merkaba up one. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's See, the thing about Oye too, is whenever she sits that out, that the ones that she's sitting out that's not in the super, there's like yeah. maybe five seconds that is out the field. I will say, five seconds is still quite a long time. There's a lot of pressure you can get with that. Like, you can wait that out, right? It's like three, it's like either three or five seconds. Like, you can wait it out and then pressure her after that. The yeah. one that you want to be fearful of is the super version. Because that stays out for a very long time. So, as a Burkava, <laughs> if you try to come in and do flight or anything, you have to be aware, okay, did you throw out the normal one or did you throw out super? Wow, because CG if just you throw know out super, wow. you're probably going to want to stay in flight for a while. If Nichols is getting his run back, if he right throws now. out like the normal, then you can wait for it to fall out and then fly in. Definitely. Oh, wait, is this losing finals? I thought we were still in semis. No, this is losing Oh, God! Five. Oh god, Nichols might actually just get the run back. We might get uh, Nichols versus uh, Wrath and Brands. I'd love to see Merkava versus Hyde. I think that match would be great. I think we're good. Wow. Wait, so if the stand is out there already, can he pop the EX version of it and it stays out there? And it does the EX version of it? What's that? So if he pops out the stand, like medium stand, with the barrier, and then he does the EX version of it, does it stay out there and pop the new barrier afterwards? What is What stand? There are Barrier thing that she does with Thanatos. Their persona, I don't know what you're calling it. Okay, what about it? So if she does the barrier thing, right. where it just stays out, like right there, if she does the EX version of that, does it just stay out there in that same position? Yeah, for a long time. Wow. That's, that's really that's, good. That's what I was talking about with the flight. That's why you can't approach her when she does it. Because if you try to do flight or anything, you have to be aware of how long that's out of the field. Yeah. But once you get caught up by that, once you get oh, hit you by that, up. Once you get hit by the one, that's a free Oreo picture right there. Exactly. You can literally just see you with the oh God. Off of that. CJ because just run that right. back from the virgin. Damn, holy crap. And Nichols. God, okay. So yeah, and whenever she does that, you do not want to get hit by that. Absolutely. Because she will get a full conversion combo off of just you getting hit by that. So good players will recognize it and stay away from it when it's here. A fireball just go over it or? Okay, good grid break. 
So, now, the other thing I'm not seeing uh, Nickel do a lot, which, honestly, I don't know if I've done it or not, but Ori's overhead, where she does like a, she's either 60 or 60, but the one where she does the overhead kick, that's negative. So, you say he's not punishing it enough, pretty much. You can punish a starter for that. You can punish a starter for that by either grab or hitting CFCC. So, the minute she does that, she's punishing it. Yeah. So, as long as you catch the starter, you can go to a full combo off of that. Now, I love watching Merkaba just go to town because his combos are just so, like, I would say elegance in a way. It's just kind of like. It's something about them that's just so interesting to watch. Like the wings is, oh my god. Cancel that into snakes. Excellent side switch right there, trying to put a lot of block pressure on him. Saying like, hey, I think you need to block the snakes or you're gonna catch something. Later, Ben. Later, Saga. Oh, okay, good TP. I respect that. He's trying to glide. I saw that. Excellent, tri excellent try trying to pop the stand right there. I think he notices. Excellent great break. So he does. I, one thing that CJ will do a lot, which I noticed, and this is when I was even playing. It's like if you try to come in and like dash from or anything or fall in the air from anything, if he has Warble and it can chain shift, he'll chain shift DP to make himself safe and to punish you. So, whenever DJ has Warble, you want to look out for him. <laughs> the thing is though, he doesn't have Warble though. Knuckles is just going to count on him. Well, that's what I'm saying. Whenever he has Warble, that's yeah. one option that you always want to look out for him. Because no chain shift immediately and then you need to make that safe. Excellent! Punish off is an opportunity right there for CJ. Definitely trying to look for a lot more... Ah. The range on that. Yeah. That jumping C is amazing, so... We are in Grand Finals, folks. We have Nichols Jot JPEG coming in from loser's side playing Merkaba versus Wrath coming from winner's side playing Hyde.